Hey folks, thanks for coming back to the channel. So today I'm going to go through some troubleshooting on these solar lights. Uh, got a couple of different types here. This one is one that goes on the outside of a post or, you know, a building or whatever. And, uh, and then this one here is the type that goes on top of your uh, fence post. The first thing you need to do is test the battery. So we're gonna show you how to check the voltage on these. And really the, the best tool for this whole thing is gonna be your multimeter. And I'll have a link down below in the description. Okay, so if you're working on these, whatever it is, you take the battery case off. In this case, the batteries are in the uh, top part here itself and I've got them removed right now but you can see where they came out and these just clip unclip and then this one here um, actually looks something like that so you don't have to tear this whole thing apart yet but the first part would be to take the battery out and then check it with the multimeter so on the multimeter we're going to set to uh, DC at 20 volts, you can see here DCV is DC volts, and 20 is the setting we're gonna use. You can see I've got it connected there. All right, so I'll show you how to test this. Pretty simple. Just take the red lead on the positive. You guys probably already know this, but for those of you that don't, I'm showing you. Put it on the uh, tip of the battery here where you can see the positive sign is right here. You got a negative here, so just put one on each end. And you can see that this one is showing 1.37 volts here on the voltmeter, which is really good. Um, my other rechargeable batteries are only showing like 1.2. But um, you can also get the replacements for these solar lights batteries on Amazon. And I'll have links down below in the description for a whole um, rechargeable battery set with the charger and everything. Usually 90% of the time, that's what the deal is. Either it's been winter time and these things just go dead and you need to pull them out and recharge them, get a good boost. Um, or if it's, you know, summer and they're getting plenty of light, then maybe your battery's just worn out. So just throw some new Amazon basics. They're the cheapest ones you can find. Rechargeable NICAD, and they're 1.2 volts. Throw those in there, see if that works. And uh, so yeah, if your battery shows low voltage, either recharge it. Um, if that doesn't work, if it doesn't come back up to 1.2 at least, then you need to throw some new ones in there. So that's the first thing you check on these deals. So the second thing that I would check if I were you is to see if the panel is clean here. This one's really old. It's probably two or three years old, but it keeps working. And uh, I've replaced the batteries in it a couple times with some of the new newer Amazon uh, rechargeables. And if you look in here, you know, just inspect around it, see this is clean. Look inside and see if there's any corrosion. If there's rust here or here, you can scrape it off. Sometimes it'll come back. Um, <clears throat> if it's clean, then kind of look at the, uh, the LEDs here. This one's got a little bit of corrosion. It's kind of yellow. That one might be bad, but if I throw new batteries in this one that are just freshly charged, you can see it's lit up. Now it's not going to light up when I have when I have light shining on it. So I'm going to show you that here. In a okay, so I've got it held up to the window, and eh, it's got a little bit of light. It senses light through the solar panel. So if the solar panel is getting sufficient light these LEDs will be turned off. If it doesn't have sufficient light, here I'll cover up the solar panel, then they illuminate, okay? Now at dusk, sometimes they'll flash, but you just cover up the solar panel to test to see if it works again. And if you replace the batteries and they're working, then you're done. Your troubleshooting job is done. Now in this example of a type of light where you know it's kind of a vertical mount, deal on the side of a house or shed or even a fence post. These are a little bit different. Um, same troubleshooting process. So you, you check the battery, just 
just like I showed you, test it, make sure it's got a full charge. So these have a switch on them here, and the uh, inside looks something like that. And there's a there's an O. You can't really see it in the very video probably very well, but there's an O over here and an I over here, and the I is for the on position. So you've got the switch that you can select these to be off or in the auto position. So what I found with these is if the battery is good and you know there's not a bunch of corrosion like on the leads for the batteries, if there's no corrosion there and the battery is good, uh, you can go through and test voltages at all of these wires if you want. So if I throw a battery in here and we get the voltage tester set up. And this one, I obviously I've got the screws apart and everything. So this little circuit board right here was mounted like that. Now you're going, okay, well, I can buy these for 10 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> so I'll have links down at the bottom for new ones. But if you're the kind of tinkerer like I am and you know my channel, you'll see that you can, 90% of the time, you can fix this stuff on your own and save yourself, you know, 10, 20, 30 bucks, whatever. These post lights are like 25, 15 or 25 bucks each. But anyway, we'll get moving on this. So you can take the tester and test the leads for voltage. So there's no voltage going to the LED, and this is dark enough in here to where it would have been triggered. And there's, um, from the battery in, you can test the battery leads. So we got 1.29 here, which is good. And then you can test the circuit board where the battery leads go on. So that would be this one here with the positive and that one with the negative. And if I can hold it steady, um, there we go, 1.29. So we're good. We got voltage from the battery to the board. And then we have to go here, which is where the solar panel goes in. You're not gonna see any voltage unless you've got light going on there. But then there's some circuitry in here that there's a diode that keeps the solar panel charging in the correct direction. Now, I'm not an electrician or anything, but, and I don't know a lot of the terms, so I'm, if I misspoke about that being a diode or something, you can comment on it, it's fine. But anyway, this comes into the board and goes one direction into the battery. It also lets the circuit know whether or not it's dark out and that triggers the auto function of this. Now, you're probably wishing I would just get straight to the point, so I'm going to. <laughs> Ultimately, I noticed corrosion right here on the switch, right? So that was kind of a kind of a heads up for me that maybe it was just the switch and it turns out that it was just the switch and now it's in the off position, but if you look here, you can see there's three leads. There's five actually. These are just mounts for the switch. These are part of the switch positions. So if you were able to see in here in the off position, it disconnects these two from each other. So you can see that's a positive, right? And that's probably a negative, a ground. So in the off position, we don't have the positive engaged when it's over here. If you turn it to the auto position, then you're connecting the positive and the ground, which is completing the circuit. So what we're gonna do, since we know, so what I decided to do to test if the switch was good or not was just jump these two right here. And I just took my knife and I put it between these two leads and bam, the light came on. So I know it's just the switch is corroded. Now you could replace the switch, but I never turn these off. So I'm just going to 
solder these two can together permanently in that way, it'll be in the auto position all the time. That's your answer. So if you don't have corrosion everywhere else, you can just solder these two leads together and you can kind of figure it out because you see the, the ground and the positive and just test them. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So um, these little soldering iron kits are really cheap. I got this one on Amazon. I'll have a link below in the description, along with the lights and the multimeter tests. And um, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna solder these together. Okay, so I got the, uh, the battery removed from the light and we're just gonna heat up these, uh, these leads here. Actually, probably should use a bigger tip on this thing, but I just happen to have it in there. Takes a little while to get it heated up, but once you get it going, you can just touch the, uh, oops, the lid on there and get them connected. I'm gonna put the battery in there and we're gonna see if it works. There you go. So now it's full time in the auto position and we're good. All right, so that's that. We put new batteries in this one, made sure that the everything's all clean and it works. And then this one here, We've got it fixed by uh, jumping the switch. So we're good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming to the channel. Please subscribe and uh, check out all the other over 100 videos of uh, useful things that uh, hopefully make your life a little bit easier or better prepared. Subscribe, like, follow the links for the uh, multimeter and the um, uh, soldering kit. And we'll see you again on another video. Nice to have stuff working.